Hi, we're Harder Brunch. We're Harder Brunch. And we're super excited to tell you about our adult summer camp this August 25th, 26th, and 27th. Wow. We're going to be doing a full three-day festival, and we want you to be a part of it. Let's go. It's going to be amazing. We got all your favorite comedians. We got headliners Brent Terhune and Gwen Sunkel on board. Okay. We're going to have musical acts by Clint Breeze, House of Wolves, The Tubbles. Dang. And all weekend is going to be all-inclusive. Wait, all That's inclusive? right. One ticket price all weekend long gets you into everything. We're going to be bringing back all of the favorite summer camp activities you remember as a kid. We're going to be doing swimming, archery, handicrafts, canoes. Wow. All weekend long, all inclusive. That's not even financially smart. Well, that's what we're doing. Get your tickets today at eventbrite.com and we'll see you there. I guess we'll see you there. <laughs> With my people though The homie Dyke just cooked up a feast And we bout to eat it bro Fucked around and has to miss the lobster with the poutine Daddy is rolling blow dream Them boys got down a routine It's nap town culture Cooking seven courses Had to pass the torch and now I'm grabbing second portion So sit back, relax, grab a drink and a smoke It's hard to brunch on the way And get prepared for the jokes Whoa Hi, and welcome to the Harder Brunch Podcast. I'm your host, Dyke Michaels, and with me as always, my co-host, Thaddeus Shane McKee. Summer camp's coming soon, baby. Let's go. Sloppy, baby, what went? On the ones and twos, the wheels of steel, the sauce, boss of Indianapolis, and the last woke dragon. Give it up for Zach Roan, everybody. Micro penis. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's your catchphrase. Yeah. <laughs> Two very special guests with us in studio, two legacy members of Harder Brunch, uh, some still contributing. I still work here. Both, both of you are still contributing. That's yeah. a weird way to bring it. Like, <laughs> I thought legacy was like a good thing, like like you're, like you're you've always been there. That's what I thought legacy meant. That's Does legacy well, mean like I, you're not there anymore? That is what it means, anymore? but then you said all those things that then negated. Oh, that, okay. Yeah. It's like, well, you're welcome. We brought you back. Because remember when you used to do stuff? Like, bitch, we're still doing stuff. Bridget made that hair cake like two months ago. <laughs> we're still doing <laughs> Yeah, very Chef recently. Bridget Haran Purcell, the People's Champion of Meat Cake 2023. What's up, guys? And Chris King. <laughs> <laughs> All right. H- hard contributor. <laughs> Harder contributor. The hardest contributor. The, hardest, the, hardest contributor. the highest level of Patreon. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> at, this, at, this level, at this level, you can pay for our t-shirts, and uh, we'll have what you want, as long as you bring the scotch. That's, that's okay. the highest level of Patreon I want. I know you got those t-shirts, but what about some more, another bottle of scotch? It sounds terrible when I, you say I it that All you gotta do is pay for our t-shirts, pay for a bunch of scotch, and we'll let you be on for half a show. And you're enjoying it. Look at your I'm having the best time. We there had you go. a 30-minute conversation about micropenises. I did, I did have to say, like, hey, I'd like to be on the full show, not just the half show. That's a, my page. Patreon membership includes. That's so great. if if this is your first time listening to Harder Brunch, uh, don't listen to this episode. Go no. back and listen to any other episode. Yeah. This is a very special episode. This is our Scotch and Steak Day 2023. Woo, woo, woo. Got a song for that. Blank bastard. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Uh, is Scotch and Steak Day 2023. Um, this is our fourth one. This is our fourth Scotch and Steak Day. That's we do great. it every year. Yeah. Um, this is just for us. This is just for Brunch Nation. Um, it's all in house, and then we hang out. We eat a lot of uh, steak. We eat yeah. a lot of drink a lot of scotch. We eat a lot. I've already eaten some scotch today, and then uh, and then we do our annual State of the Brunch address. So it's a little confusing if you're not familiar with the program go listen to any other episode first <laughs> come back to it yeah. i feel like there's almost like a uh, watching order now i think it, it'd be fun if you're like a diehard fan of the show go listen to episodes one two three and then this one of all the scotch and steak days and see yeah. how it's evolved that'd be great yeah, it's, it's, has a, a, yeah. Um, it's like harry potter it gets a little bit darker as we get along <laughs> Even even in the co-host, <laughs> count it. I guess. <laughs> and then uh, Thad, you had something that you wanted yeah, to start so off. This I is very a... special. This is our 
high holiest of holidays. Yeah, yeah, this is like I have a bunch of people here that I'm familiar with. This is my first. <laughs> what? Uh, this people, is my first. These are people I'm familiar casual with. Casual acquaintances. <laughs> this is my first shame shame, and I'm very excited. Mm. Oh, uh, that's great. I will give you a hint. It might be shame. someone or something in this room. Shame. <laughs> yeah. shame. Yeah. All right. Our first shame shame. Can, does anybody want to do a guess? Who do you feel like it could be you? Do you feel like it could be you? I mean, I know it's like not me because I would think it's one of us. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say Chris King. I, it's mm, that's my Chris guess. King. I'm gonna say Chris yeah. King. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely did give uh, Thad my credit card. He <laughs> went away, carte blanche, and may or may not have spent a bunch of stuff on there and picked his own scotch. So uh, sure, I would, I would assume it's me with the shame. All he kept saying was, "Chris has so much money." <laughs> I was like, okay. Like, he, like, he says like, he has a little bit less. <laughs> oh, he has a little bit less. <laughs> Hitting my steering wheel. How do I affect the two percent? Uh, I have the power in my hands right now. Um, no, this first shame, shame of mine goes to. You guys were right, Chris King <laughs> and yeah. Dyke Michaels. Oh, oh, oh no! Uh, would you play that clip? So, do you want to give any background on this, or do you just well, want to play it? Listen, I I enjoy uh, watching my friends go on podcasts. Yeah. Sometimes, like I miss some of the podcasts, and I go back and I watch the full thing. And sometimes yeah. they're talking about. And you. sometimes they're talking about yeah, me. Yeah, that's true. And mm. this is one that uh, they were talking about me on a very famous podcast. And a very famous podcast, forging flame. Oh yeah, and, they're very famous. Uh, oh, no. You guys amazing. had some obscenities to say. You guys were saying. Uh, you are naysayers yeah. of, of some some things I do, and we'll let's play this clip. Okay. Yeah, forging and, flame. This is uh, this is the biggest flame they've forged in a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want a pudding pop? He was. Yeah. yeah. He, he was. Yeah. He's. He still stands by the fact that he, he did <laughs> tremendous last, Barack last, Obama last week when we recorded the episode. Uh, our guest at the time was making fun of that Barack Obama person. Like, no, I've been working on it. It's great. It sounds the same. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I like the uh, the brief moment of inspiration he tries to throw in there. We're, we're going to be better together. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, the <laughs> irony of that the irony of that is that was the same day where he told us that Kanye West was going to be the next president. It was the exact same day. No. So you're telling me you're not voting for Kanye West? Like, listen, man. I do like <laughs> that you managed to include like a reference to you uh, being behind the Kanye for president train. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this makes yeah. you look yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's no, my no. Shame. no, it does make me look bad, and that is an exact <laughs> damn point. No, I wasn't going to vote for Kanye West. I was in character. Things I say behind uh, the mm. paywall, things that I say oh, gotcha. uh, in character, that's not true. You that think was I would Obama, vote for Kanye West? Obama was going to vote for Kanye. What's funny is like that was me talking, but it was nonsense. I didn't understand a word I was <laughs> You told thousands of people that I was going to vote for Kanye West. Tens, well, you, tens of people. No, there was no, there was maybe four, there's four people in the room and like their moms. So that's yeah, the people that heard that. Fun fact: I I actually ended up doing it because it was the best choice. But that's not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I think that's the same podcast that I listened to and. They did like a guess Bridget's age thing for a while, oh. and so that that made me feel that was the only thing that they. Well, that's and then, worse. And then the hosts of the show were like, "But she's an amazing chef," and they were like, "I mean, yeah, but like, how old is she?" Like, that wasn't that wasn't our episode though, right? No, that was that a different. Was, uh, okay. Yeah. No, it was your guys' episode. No, no, let's think separate that. I don't think so. I think the answer, the although the answer we came to was uh, twelve. <laughs> Honestly, twelve. <laughs> Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Well, you know what? We should have been changed. Thank you for digging up a podcast that we did five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, now I feel like a Jim Z. That's how many people listen to that show. It took you five years to find that to dig it up. Like I was on YouTube and I found this five year old thing that you said about me. I said way worse things about you in the five years. So um. All right. I got. Some, I got some. So uh, for those of you that maybe maybe you didn't listen to me and you are listening to the first time to this podcast. And uh, I feel like a little backstory on it is this originally was our Father's Day show. And for Father's Day, we made scotch and steak. Yeah. And uh, and then what happened was against, you know, 
what what's good for me is all of you kept getting married and having children. Blew the club up. So yeah. if we're going to do a shame, shame, I'm going to do a shame, shame to Zach, to Chris King, and to Bridget, who all got married yeah. since the show started. That's mm-hmm. right. And two of you have had kids. Some of you, multiple kids. Yeah, two kids. Yeah. A bunch of adults in this room. <laughs> I, don't say, I just really like that you took that away our Father's Day for it. <laughs> yeah. So um, we could no longer do it on Father's Day because now you guys... Everyone's an actual father. But the thing is, we could because <laughs> they're could. listening to this on Father. This, this is going to be released the day after Father's Day. Yeah, this is the this is when you would record a Father's oh, Day. Oh, okay. Show. Well, happy oh, Father's Day, everybody. Uh, but also, um, outside outside of that, <laughs> we decided to transition into like you know what? This is just this is just Scotch and Steak Day. We will take away the Father's Day. So it's a lot of things. It is Scotch and Steak Day. It is Father's Day. Why would it um, be? Why would you take away it? Uh, Take it away as Father's Day because we're fathers. Yeah. Because I never met mine, Chris. That's why. <laughs> right? Aha, in your oh. face. My yeah. mom's dead. That was the one that was burned there. <laughs> I never <laughs> met my dad. <laughs> I met mine. <laughs> How's that going out for you? <laughs> you're, the, yeah, you're the big winner. Happy, happy Pride Month. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, shame, shame to all of you for getting married and having families. Oh, um, and then also, I realized that uh, I went back and I listened to last. I always listen to last year's episode just yeah. to see where we are, want to see where the bar is at. And last year, um, so when we started the show, we were there. I, I don't want to say he was or he wasn't, but there was maybe some um, uh, confusion, discrepancies on was Zach an actual white supremacist? Yeah. I remember. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember last year. Yeah. I didn't even know. We gave him an opportunity. <laughs> it's been a long journey for me. <laughs> we was gave, that only last year? Last yeah. year we gave him an opportunity because we'd always. I'd always called him for over a year. I called him the last white dragon. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then last year My on this Pokemon day, evolution into the last woke dragon. I gave him the. I gave him a choice to uh, renounce white supremacy, which he technically did not. <laughs> <laughs> But That's not what you want recorded. Still leave me on that one. <laughs> so for the past year, we've referred to him as the last woke dragon. And yeah. I don't know. I don't want to get political. I don't know if you guys follow what's going on in the news. But what I learned this year is if you go woke, you go broke. I've heard that rhyme. Am I the last broke dragon? I, now? Don't, I don't want you. I don't, I don't. I don't want you to. I don't want. No, I don't want you to go broke. Okay. Okay. Right. So I think. We're going to retire the moniker The Last Woke Dragon today. And I think for the next year, Zach Roan, the sauce boss of Indianapolis, will be known as The Last Whack Dragon. Oh, you are so whack. Whack? <laughs> yeah, how do you feel about that? Yeah, no, Although, I'm not going with it. A lot, of, a lot of Zach's yeah. names have really gone out the window because he's not as white supremacist as he used to be yeah. because of, you know, your... Because you guys are black, but also he's just not making sauces anymore. Uh-huh. He's, he's not the making. It's like you had. He had a lot of things <laughs> yeah. happening. A yeah, lot of things mm. a lot oh my of god, things former been, things. Yeah, things go bad enough. I might not even be a father for a long time. He's declining. Oh no! Oh wow! Yeah, <laughs> just a guy. The last single dad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Someone I used to know. Would you know my name? <laughs> Um. So. So you know. So no. On the last whack dragon. It's, it's, yeah, that was a terrible one. Would you like broke dragon? I mean, I don't like that. That's I don't love that one, but I don't hate it. Okay. Like I. I like last woke dragon. One's more socially acceptable. I think that what will always be with Zach, even when he loses his whackness, his wokeness, mm. and his white supremacist, is the fact that he does love the Sybaris. Mm. And, and we could, yes. mm. The Sybaris. The sex and, king. Yeah. No. The sex king. Whoa. Yes. Oh, oh, what about, about the last that. kink dragon? The last yeah. kink dragon. The last kink dragon. Sybaris Sultan. Sybaris Sultan's a way to go. I also mm. think that that's probably already a title that someone else already has. I've mm. never heard anybody yeah. promote the Sybaris the way that Zach well, does. <laughs> what, what happened was we, we hit so much with the white supremacy jokes yeah. that when uh, we had Chef Oya coming on, Chef Oya did not know yeah. that or I at all. Mm-hmm. And she just heard our voices and she was like, I don't know. It sounds Wait like- Wait a second. Wait a second. I feel like, uh, so like, I don't think that was anything to do with the white supremacy jokes. No? <laughs> like, so Oya was only familiar with who I was mm-hmm. out of the three of us. Mm-hmm. She heard you two talking yeah. and then didn't think that it was two black people mm-hmm. doing a podcast. <laughs> Just thought that there were some people getting real wild. Yeah, <laughs> real loose with the N word yeah. on the show. But yeah. also that you associated said, with these people. But, but she said, 
I knew you were there, so I figured it couldn't be too bad. <laughs> I was the in wow. in this one. Uh, to, to, you to, borrowed to, some of my cred. Who <laughs> said that? Who was it? It was the one time I did. I was the host for a while, and I went on vacation. And what's his name actually did think oh, that Oh, Carrington. Was, yeah. Can, like, yeah. we were joking. Like, so you were gone or whatever. He was, was my like, house. He's a very yeah, nice guy. Yeah. And so we're, we're going on and we're like, well, you know, Chris had to be fired for racism. <laughs> and then, like, you saw it in his face. because he heard it on the episode. Yeah. And he's like, oh, oh really? I like it. That I was really in, like, like house. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I went to a house, that guy's house. Like, I, I, I was out loud. We were, like, on our way to California. Like, please stop saying that. He's a very nice guy. <laughs> I, like, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't in the room, but I just, I, you can hear in his voice. He goes, oh. Oh man! Like, yeah. Yeah. So is that disappointing? disappointing? That guy. Yeah. I, I, that guy I think before. the worst part was that he just like believed it. He just accepted <laughs> yeah, it. He he just like, it. All right, I guess. I'm, like, I, I, I'm sorry that I went to that white supremacist house. Like, please correct him. <laughs> Uh, Bridget Haran, uh, you were you be, you've been the Meat King before. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Uh, you were dethroned this year as the Meat King. However, kind of. you rose as the People's Champion. The, yeah. the, the, the people spoke, and they crowned you the People's yeah. Champion. Well, I was trying to save our friendship. Yeah, because you did tell me if I won both that we couldn't be friends anymore. Yeah, well, you know, enough's enough. That's what I say. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes there's too much. Yeah. Um, but you were you you're the the people's meat king. Mm -hmm. um, That's what they call me in the street. <laughs> <laughs> but you tried to go and secure us some scotch today with Chris yeah. King's credit card. I did. That didn't need to be said. And, That's it. And, well, and we said it at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> we, and, we did. I didn't yeah. know we were. What, what, what happened when you got to get right on that microphone when you talk? Well, it, sorry, sorry guys. Um, I. Well, we, we went to one liquor store. Thad realized he didn't have his ID, so he just handed me a card. And so I assumed it was Thad's card. It was not. They didn't have any scotch. So we left. We went to another liquor store. We get there. I get I go inside. I said, oh, you know, I'll have some Lafroy. And the guy working said, I, no, we don't have any of that. And I was like, I mean, I see it on, I see it on the shelf behind you, but that's <laughs> fine. So I was like, well, do you have any non-blended scotches? I don't think we have any scotch at all. And I was like, okay, well, I see there. I think that white bottle, actually, I just noticed it is uh, Lafroy. So I'll take that one. And this... I'm sure a very nice man mm -hmm. came up, uh, maybe 75, Yeah, uh, probably like 5'3". Five, five, Perfect dating age. Super five, nice, three. super nice. Yeah. Uh, came up and was like, well, I'll get that for her. Like I was like, okay, it'll be $68. And he said, <laughs> "Great." well, I'm kind of a wino. Do you want some wine? <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, I'm, no, I'm definitely getting this scotch. And uh, it's good to know that I'm not worth $68. So <laughs> I've never heard of anybody walking back and yeah. offer like that <laughs> like, before. Who would think he yeah. He's like, you look $20 good, not $68 yeah. good. He did. He was, he came up to the counter with a box of wine. So I think he was like, why don't we just get two of these bad boys leave here? And I was like, oh, but thank let, you let, so but much. For, if but, you're not, li if you're not watching the video, if you're listening to this audio, <laughs> we have to say like, but like you went into that liquor mm -hmm. store looking like a snack. You're wearing your, your My nicest your, overalls. Your formal yeah. overalls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that nicest. maxes out at 67. Yeah. Nicest, yeah. Honestly, yeah. You <laughs> are you are at least worth fifteen dollars worth of booze honestly, right now. <laughs> I was thinking like I agree. And he didn't even offer like like I was like, I'm getting scotch and he was like, Why? And I was like, No. <laughs> no. Can I interest you in something from a box? <laughs> no. Maybe if I was no. wearing my regular clothes, I'm in my fancy yeah. overall. And what I wanted to say was, my guy, I'm not paying for this anyways. Like this is fine. <laughs> this How? is the heaviest credit card I've ever held in my life. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty heavy. Are yeah. your credit cards made of paper? I yeah. understand what you're yes. yes. How how did you get the, <laughs> the fucking antimantium card? I got a bunch of money. That's what it is. <laughs> they, they, we know what the thing they do is uh they're like, hey, do you want this regular plastic card? Like, Ugh. what if I what if I got like a bunch of money? Like, okay, we'll give you the antimantium yeah. card. Yeah. It, it makes it, it harder. Really not that hard at all. It makes it harder to steal. It's it's like, oh it's god, very I'm heavy. Pull my right, you don't even got to go to the gym. No, it you was... don't even have to like slide it. You only touch it. Oh, yeah. you only you touch not, it? I've never slid that card. This card isn't meant for sliding. It's not meant for sliding. It's, it's, only a, for it's a virgin card. I, I honestly didn't even know if it had the barcode. I Seriously, I did not know. Oh, Bridget wow. slid okay. your card. Never slid that. Did you slide my card? Yes. You bitch! <laughs> <laughs> she broke my card time! Crash it off! Yeah, uh, now you got a I slut actually, card. I am going to throw that card away. <laughs> that has never been in a card slot. That is disgusting. <laughs> it's Tony's, too. I didn't know this was a card shaming podcast. Yeah. That is disgusting. Uh, so real quick, obviously we had the chefs come on and talk about everything, but let's talk about the food real quick because, yeah. man, what a treat. Like, that was, yeah. so, it was so nice. Uh, I mean, Zach, right? That was so nice to sit down. This is the only time that Zach and I have got to sit down and eat with everybody, like, 
Where, yeah, in it, the last two years, it was a crazy experience. Like, I guess my birthday, I also got to mm. like be like a guest properly. But yeah. like, no, the the food was amazing. They did such a good job, and uh, I mean, like, I got to experience like Thad's hospital hospitality first first. You know, yeah, and uh, yeah. person, yeah, first person, <laughs> and uh, I was really it was impressed. so good. It made you bomb. It made me bomb right there. That's what I do. I know? was really impressed with the the music that was performed. It's like yeah. multiple rooms. Just it was switching a, back and forth. Yeah, an old factory experience. Right? I've never, I've never factory. been Audio. in a situation where somebody kept apologizing for the ambiance. Like, I'm sorry about the music. Let me it play for my iPhone. The for worst a while. hosting job I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I don't usually I throw agree. this into uh, conversation, but I just recently got a hot tub. And <laughs> <laughs> so I was out in the hot tub and I brought my speaker out and yeah. then it rained last night and I left yeah. it out. Yeah. So that was what was going on. You know what though? I, I think that you have a unique situation that people are going to really enjoy where you can start a conversation with, hold on a second, baby, let me blow up my hot tub. You get to say that. <laughs> I bl- it's already blown up. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say Maybe that. Maybe not yet. Yeah, a long time, Chris. I, we don't blow up hot tubs I'm anymore. I'm the asshole in this situation. Well, Sorry. I mean, in what situation would I interrupt a conversation like, hey, I know this is a really nice conversation. <laughs> Let me go blow up my hot tub. Yeah, it's already blown up. Don't forget up. what it's you just said. Up. You should say that. Be like, hey, I, I don't know if you've oh. ever been to a house where the hot tub's already blown up, but mine's already blown up. You don't have to... <laughs> Did you even mention it's a blow up hot tub? <laughs> it is a blow up hot tub. Am I wrong? Because well, they like, might mistake in it for a raft. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought was happening. Listen, so, it, it, it is a blow up hot dog. Uh, no, not that hot dog. Honestly, I would love a blow up hot dog yeah, that hot yeah. dog. In the history of listening, living with Dyke, we have gotten blow up wet things. Yeah. <laughs> Right, we got to blow up things together. We purchased a blow up thing that we both shared mm-hmm. with yeah. a bunch of people. Yeah, it wasn't a blow up doll or well, anything like that. Yeah, it was yeah, a pool. That's true. You were that talking pool, about our, our pool, right? That pool you love the pool. You were a big fan. Uh, I didn't go. That was a dental <laughs> dam. That was not blown up. That was a series of plastic that was put together with sticks that people stood in. And then my favorite part about that, I've never seen anything. I've never seen anything so close to the Fry Festival where you like double down. Like you think the Fry Festival was a disappointment. Come to our dental dam. Full of water. That's what you guys did. Why? And people showed up. People did like, hey, I'm ankle deep, and, and but I'm doing acid, so it's totally fine. Yeah, I love that pool. <laughs> yeah. I like. Uh, first of all, I like how it. We were so close to tricking your wife into coming. She was. She took that. You guys you took a stock photos. You use a stock photo address. of a pool. You use and, stock uh, photos of a real pool, the and is, then have them come to some fucking puddle <laughs> in your backyard. The, the, what, the I, time I, when I knew that it was bullshit was when yeah. Thad looked at me proudly and said, "Me and Dyke split a pool. <laughs> we spent a hundred dollars a piece, a piece. <laughs> as though that <laughs> would yeah. anywhere near get them a pool. I've never." seen a pool that was literally held up it was a tarp i don't know how you guys did that i don't know how it held water but amy i bet i was on that i was on the show for a good three years there's never one event that we had that amy was interested you put a stock photo up of a pool which was literally a stock photo of like a pool that was a cement in ground pool and amy's like i bet this is what they have like no 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 they're on rolls they do not have an in ground pool like they fill the tarp with water and they hope it doesn't break. Okay. Full disclosure, the pool did turn brown after the end of the party. But it this was, no, it was no, just somewhere feet. in the middle. It was just well, feet. you guys didn't clean it. You just left it out you there. You left it. Are you supposed weeks, to clean it mid pool? Weeks and weeks and weeks. No, it turned brown. You're supposed brown. to clean it at some point. Okay, it turned brown during moved. the party is what I'm and trying to say. It did turn brown during the yeah, party. Yeah, the pool's but when, still there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, when you have, li- the thing is, to your credit, it's not like you didn't clean it out. When you don't have a lot of water, the more feet you put in there, the gross it's going to be. Like, if you like, if you put four yeah. sets of feet into a sink, gross. Yeah. If you put four seats of, uh, sets of feet into a pool, totally fine. Yeah. You guys said, hey, come over and sit in our sink, and people were like, yeah, I'll do All right, well, it, it was, a, it was a, their fault. It was their fault. It was a foot soup by it that was. time. It was. It was just for the feet, too. You know what's funny is uh, we went to a pool uh, this weekend with my uh, my daughter. It was just... A real pool? (laughs) Well, yeah, it was a real pool. (laughs) But it was just for just up to the ankles. It was actually kind of gross, but it wasn't a tarp. You guys, like, filled the tarp with water. Well, can I tell you, everybody that got in the pool had a good time, and that's all that matters. That is true. I heard you did get a bunch of... Also, with all the shit talking, Bridget, Bridget, you were in that foot tub. You did it, and you had a good time. Hey, 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 hey. I was the first one in, and then when more people got in, I did get out. (laughs) 
<laughs> when when Dyke submerged his entire body in the pool, I got that's promptly great, out of the pool. That's a great yeah. photo. That's a, great a lot photo. of people left when I. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I got dye for this uh, hot tub, mm. so there'll be no brown turning. Oh yeah! By the way, he did he did he did, he did dye the hot tub like the St. Patrick's Day parade. Yeah, I like, mean, you know wait, what you do? You dyed the water? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 um. Really emerald blue. Why? Oh, it's blue. Yeah. yeah, you know you don't tell people like, hey, don't worry, it's totally clean. I dyed it blue. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I put it's cleaner like, in it. So there's no <laughs> question. <laughs> there's no <laughs> question. <laughs> He dyed it sanitary blue. It yeah. looks like that. You know, it does look like a toilet. That's you know, you got the water at the bottom of a portalette. It looks like that. That's you're like, hey, is this drinking water okay? It looks like it looks clean, but is it okay? Like, yeah, yeah, it's clean because I dyed it. I dyed it blue. Like, listen, I had you a put dye in the water that I'm drinking. I had a choice between red, green, or blue. Which no, one am I picking? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. What you do you mean? <laughs> Did it come with dyes? Like what? what? Color? I got okay, three different dyes. dyes. Why? For festivities. That came with the pool. And if like someone starts bleeding in it, like you know, Whoa. covered up. Why are dyes an so option? Now it's purple. Jesus. Hit some sort of button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I didn't get black bastard for that one. I was, okay, well. Wow. No, I, uh, someone told me don't dye it green because I could look like mold. Don't, don't dye it at all. Don't dye it. Don't dye it at all. Don't dye it. Don't dye it. That looks like blood. Don't die at And all. blue is the most then water-like like, color. Hey, baby, come over here, and when you climb on this hot tub, you're gonna look like a fucking yep, smurf. Yeah, but blue is not the most person-like color. That's the thing. Die is not an option. Why are you guys saying die is an option? I like how he said it like he had a gun to his head. Look, there was only three options. I can just see the ladies coming over watching your projector screen that you won, quote unquote, won, and they walk out like blue from the like shoulders down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 wait. What are you saying? I'm saying that people are coming over here and all of a sudden, like two days later, calling me like I can't get the blue out of my fucking penis. That's what they're saying. Well, okay, one, you said ladies first. Two, <laughs> two, uh, it's it's it's. Uh, I'm so sorry, my lady is blue. That what should I do? Thank That's you. What say. Thank you. It's I'm the FDA, asshole. It's FDA approved dye that you could swim in. That's not gonna rub off. I've tried it. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you tried rubbing it off. Blue. You tried rubbing it off. I will like to say this. I oh I, I was like I was like kind of making a joke, and I was like working with Beth the other night, and I was just like I was like, hey, we're doing Scotch and Steak Day, and we also have a hot tub. I was like, you want to come over after for for Scotch Tub? I just wanted to make that pun. I just mm. wanted to make the pun of Scotch yeah. Tub, and she kind of stopped for a second, and was real quiet, and looked down. And she goes, well. Well, Bridget will be there, right? So it's just, and I was just like, so it'll be safe. And I, and I was like, yes, but also Bridget would never get in the hot tub no. for any reason. No. We put blue dye in there. No. Literally, and I didn't think about it until a picture just came on the screen. It does look like a toilet bowl <laughs> when you dye it blue. It but also, no. you guys, that food is so good. So oh, good. Just, just to pull it back to that. I'm so sorry that good. colors became boring all of a sudden. <laughs> that food was as good <laughs> as hey, there's your There's a toilet. picture of it right there. There's the new hot tub. Look at look that. that. I was like, I didn't make a blue toilet. I'm done. <laughs> We're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to apologize to Thad and we'll be right back. I'm not apologizing. I stand by what I said. This week on the After Brunch Podcast. And the fun thing about Wells Fargo <laughs> is that... They just transitioned into student loans, so they're still in the slavery business. A little bit. Still, it's a little predatory. Yeah. yeah, they need some eyes on it. But them. you know what? If you're good at something, stick to what you know. That's yeah. what I've always said. Exploiting I'll, what I say is, oh, the Wells Fargo <laughs> wagon is a coming <laughs> down the... Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't know they... they 162 slaves, I don't know if that's a lot for a bank. Because <laughs> I'm sure J.P. Morgan was like thousands. Like how many slaves would be too many? Join us at patreon.com slash harder brunch. Welcome back. Uh, we're here with Chris King and uh, the people's champ, Bridget Haran Purcell. Um, very excited. Uh, we started talking about it. We got a little sidetracked, so let's maybe get to, like, the food. The food was amazing. We can all agree amazing. the food was amazing. Can we yeah. say everything that there was, beef wellington. Yeah. yeah. Steak tartare. Yeah. Um, what? Sous vide egg? Yeah, that sous vide egg was <laughs> amazing. Fire. Yeah. Man. I don't want to ever eat a uh, yolk that isn't sous vide. Well, I'm and only going to sous vide my yolks. Like, filet Manhattan is like one of my favorite. Like, steak Manhattan is one of my favorite things in the whole world. And yeah. they, like, that was awesome. And the truffle amazing. sauce, so good. 
Uh, yeah. yeah. What do you I, think of the truffle sauce? You don't like truffle sauce. I know uh, you're goddamn <laughs> wrong. I love real <laughs> truffles, and I never see them because they're so expensive. Yeah. And they served us real truffles, and it was amazing. It was great. Uh-huh. I do not like fake truffle sauce, which is a uh, a chemically enhanced fugazi that uh, gets sprayed on food for cheap. It, I, I think I'm maybe borderline allergic to it. But yeah. but real truffles are amazing. And the fact that he was actually talking about like the, the thinking <laughs> about sourcing the truffles and making sure there were summer truffles there. When I saw them shit sliced on the on the sauce, I was like, oh, we're we're getting the real deal here. Like this is amazing. Yeah. Like yeah, that like great. that's the uh, they're expensive. Yeah. Truffles are, yeah. Yeah. Um and then that dessert was amazing. I I love the fact that originally when he broke it down, he was like talking about how it was basically like a deconstructed um Macaron. yeah 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 and and man that was great that was so the most good. i know there was a couple of people that at the table that couldn't eat that that was the most amazing dessert i've ever had in my life <laughs> it was amazing i think i think it yeah, is some time, people because of the death allergy yeah i could not that, enjoy it the fact that there were so many people like hey i can't eat this that makes it more delicious mm. like look how delicious yeah. this thing is I, I told that on the way to the liquor store i was like i literally when they put it down and he was talking about it i was like maybe i just eat like a bite or two <laughs> maybe i just risk it and no you yeah. cut in the middle of it and i feel like there was a raspberry like yeah. heart center of it. I was like, full oh no, all of her utensils are now full contaminated. Full it's all full circle because like the first time I met Bridget, she talked about putting dirty money in a cake. And you know what's as deadly as dirty money in a cake to Bridget? Raspberry. <laughs> That's less what it so. is. Less. No. Dirty money less, less so than Well, than also, well, dirty money should be, God damn it, you haven't, no, dirty <laughs> money is terrible. That'll be a slow burn though. Raspberry will be quick. <laughs> yeah, you, can, I, you can eat a lot of money. Before getting before sick. you die, yeah, that's not, yeah. That's not true. Yeah, that's not a, a true. lot more yeah. than something you're allergic to. Hold on a second. To. Are we yeah. saying uh, no? No. Uh, yeah, are we he's... saying that Bridget? Did, hold on a second. Are we saying that if we Bridget can have, if it comes down to raspberries versus dirty cash, Bridget yeah. can have more dirty cash than raspberries. Is Absolutely. that what you're saying? Bridget can. Yeah. yeah. I will live longer if I eat yeah. dirty money than if I eat raspberries. Raspberries yeah. like a 15 yeah. minutes. That what makes you think that's up. not true? How much money do you think you could and can eat? Oh, that's a good question. I've also, I've built up a tolerance through the years, guys. I, to I money? Eat like, yeah, six or seven, <laughs> six or seven coins a day. What? <laughs> what do you do with raspberries? What do you do with raspberries? I, I would disagree. I think that like you would be like, I think that you could have a bite of raspberry for dirty cash. What the fuck? God damn it, Bridget! No way. And also, just for my professional standing, I did not put dirty money in a cake. There's a yes, tube that goes in the middle of a cake no. that you so put that the money, money was in. Clean? It was clean. Well, no, the money was fine, but the cake longer. did never touch the money. The cake said, never touched the money. No, when but she it wasn't clean fine, money. It, yeah. it was not clean. It was yeah, not clean. So it was dirty money in a cake. It, it was. It was freshly laundered. Sweaty money yes. that someone's put in their hands, and then she put um, it with the food. So, uh, you've been gone a long time, Chris King. I don't know if you heard. We don't shine shoes no more. Yeah. Uh, That's what Zach said when I tried to take his mic. But, uh, we made, uh, so we're now, we're now a media company. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, we've been, we've been making some ads for, for our sponsors. You're enjoying right now a wonderful Upland beer. I love the Patio Cat. Patio Cat. Yeah. Um, Thad actually made a theme song for Upland, which oh. is not only available, it's available on all streaming services. It's available on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok. everything. Yeah. Everything you could possibly find a song. And TikTok. Spotify, TikTok. It's, yeah. it's, it's on everything. Yeah. Wow. Um, are, you, are you ready to hear this? Really, yeah. this, this uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on TikTok excited. now, bud. Marketing gem. <laughs> I mean, it's free. Anybody can be on TikTok. I'll be on TikTok tomorrow. Breaking away. That song gives me anxiety <laughs> because it takes so long to find out what you're talking about. 
My, no, my, the, at the very beginning. Yeah, yeah for a while. I, my daughter just breaking would fall, away at the beginning. Yeah. My daughter would fall asleep to that song. She would, mm-hmm. she would definitely pass out. It, it is, is kind of a lullaby. Yeah. Would, you, would yeah. you like me to make music for your daughter? You already, you already did. It's called the Upland Song. <laughs> I it takes twenty minutes to find out what you're talking about. Wait, didn't didn't you hire Thad to do a birthday video for your daughter? I I, I gotta tell you what. I would. I honestly want to hire you every year of her birthday. <laughs> I loved it. That that helped me in a nice situation. I, luckily, my wife doesn't listen to this podcast, but she thought that you did that for free, and she loves you so much. Yeah, you told me to keep it secret. Yeah, <laughs> just don't said, never say like, mistake. She's like, I just, I love. She talked about like weeks later. She's like, I just, I love that that did that. That's just so nice. Like. I might yeah. tell you that. I like that the deal is that I look like a really nice guy. That <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm also fine with it. That's great. For, babies, yeah. uh, That's fine. for free. That's but fine. is it better or worse if a guy's like, let me make a video for your baby? <laughs> don't, you don't have to charge me anything. Don't ask me questions. I want to no, no, do no. it for free. No, no. Uh, uh, I think her sensor's not. broken. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it was it's fine. Yeah. Uh, I, Amy cried I mean, when she saw you doing uh, that video. For $2,000, I'll make any video, That's Chris. not what I paid him well, at all. It was a little bit more. <laughs> I didn't. I won't tell. No, that's not true. I won't say exactly how much it is. Nothing you're saying oh, is Oh, now true. we're lying. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine. You, you know what's infuriating is that I just looked up. We have Thad's Twitter pulled up here, and Thad does not follow Harder Brunch on Twitter. <laughs> One of his suggested oh. things is like, hey, you might like Harder Brunch. <laughs> what a piece of shit. He doesn't follow Dwight either. He doesn't wait, follow. Wait, time out. He's not logged in. He's not logged in. Oh, okay. Oh, I was like, wait, because I feel like I follow all those people. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? what is happening here? Yeah, this is an out fad on the social media day. No, no, no. I, I, no I'm very much. This is, though. I don't believe it. Yeah. No, I follow Harder Brunch. I, sh- I share too much of their stuff. He's going to go follow it right now. Yeah. <laughs> and follow it. And I do follow you, D- Dwight Simmons. Don't listen to them. He knows I do. Yeah, just not technically. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the state of the brunch, uh, I wanted to say something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we haven't started that part, but go ahead. Is this the, no, is this I don't the time? Say it should it. be starting now, right? There, right? No, I just, I just, I thought we were, I would just want to get in with the, uh, the breaking up land. I wanted to say that, like, I feel like you kind of shook that off. Here's the thing. The, the genius of that song is the first time you hear it, you go, Sad did an okay job with that song. Great. I feel like you did a However, great job. However, the genius of that song is it's an earworm. It, yeah. Burrows into your subconscious. Let's yeah. just hit the first five seconds again and it. It will never, it will don't never don't leave. Shake. It will never leave. That. Yeah. that song is it, once it locks in, it, it, it grabs a hold of your hippocampus, and it's just always there. Yeah, and it's maybe the best marketing song I've ever heard. Oh, oh wow. wow! Thank wow. you. They call me the Catch King. Catchy. Eighty percent of what he said was uh, fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was fucking ignorance. It was very, very good. It was great. It was I great. Say this it up on like themselves. Until, yeah, up on themselves. What'd like, and that's the it? most important. They thing. loved it. Just like your daughter liked me dancing. <laughs> she did love it. Did you ask me to take off my shirt? Be honest. No, I didn't. <laughs> Because I feel like there not. was a, a part I where not. I was shimmy. I'll tell you what. I, uh, I mean, that happened. You I, did take your shirt off. You did. It's kind of weird literally. you pushed that off on I, someone I, else. I, I am not joking <laughs> about that song. I will have to... I don't, I don't care what whatever you charge me every year. I will have to pay it because <laughs> no. Amy was so blown away. She's like, I'm just so happy. I can't believe he did that. That was amazing. They did that, and she cried. She cried that you did that. Wait, Amy cried. You never told me this part. No, I, I did. She, she was like, that's just so amazing that he would do that for her on her first birthday. And I, I want to say like, I, 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 I. Paid him. I paid him to do that. I would I wanna, love I if it just that. became a thing that happened every year, like like your daughter's like 18th birthday. Yeah, and it was like she's like explaining to her friends, like I don't know, man, this old black guy always comes out. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the best. Dances is. with his shirt on. Like, He's done it every year of my life. So you did that. I think the ultimate in the story of like it's up to like up to sixteen and seventeen person like yeah I just I, I I gotta see that 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 guy dance and then he doesn't do it. I do want like the seventeenth birthday just doesn't do it. Like why why didn't he do it? Like what I did just I, do? I lost my job. <laughs> Sixty seven years old. I lost my job. I can't afford that anymore. Zach has a question. I do want to get to understand this a little more because <laughs> like who requested that Thad do this? I did. I definitely did. So you of your own accord said. Yeah. Hey, it'd be really awesome for my one-year-old daughter if yeah. one of my friends gave <laughs> her a video. She watches that video all the time. <laughs> that is not a video that she watched once. She watches it all the time. Okay, we're not going to say the dollar amount. I was against it as well. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then they said pay you. And then and they I said saw, it feels less weird. I saw how much money yep. the bills yeah. we put down. Yeah. And I was like, uh, hell yeah, I'll you do know, that. A heavy credit card makes uh, anyone sing happy like, birthday. Like when you do a contract. It do literally it. goes well, back to my but, Diamond Bennigans. But like, the thing <laughs> is, like, I, I could absolutely understand. Like, like I could understand if I needed a performer for something, I would think of you one of the first out of the people I know. Oh, thank like, you. Like, I, I absolutely get that part of it. Yeah. But never, never, ever in a million years would I <laughs> gift my one-year-old a video of one of my, my friends, you know, singing for them. Well, the way I do it, I do it right. And guys, yeah. listen, if you're Clearly. listening out there, yeah. if you're it. wanting a birthday present for your family yeah. members, it doesn't even matter what age. I uh, I yeah, that's what he always says. You I'll tell you what, let me tell you this. When she was one, she fucking loved it, and she watched that video on a pretty regular basis, and I'm not joking about that at oh, all. My kids also, love everything on my phone. <laughs> no, Every no, no. single there's fucking video my, on my phone. There's a lot of things my daughter doesn't like. They love like. it because she we loves love that, the phone. She loves the video that Thad does. She loves it. She loves it. She, Dad, I'm not, I'm not even joking. She is online with Mario. She watches Game which is what she calls the Mario movie. She watches Baby Finn and she watches that. I'm not joking. Are you serious? It's That's, the best, it's the best oh, wow. time I've ever spent. I'm viral in your house. I don't remember what I spent for it, but it wasn't enough. <laughs> it wasn't enough. <laughs> oh, all right. I'll talk to my agent. He's, he's going to remember that next year. He's going to exploit yeah, yeah, you yeah. every year yes, more yes. and more money. I, I just, care. yeah, I guess I just don't like give my kid videos of strangers enough. Oh, I'm the, I'm the <laughs> asshole. I'm the asshole. I think all it was right. more for Chris. All right. It's time for Say the Brunch. There we go. Do we have some sort of lead in? Just play something. Hit something. <laughs> oh, no, play the, play the, play the camp Oh, yeah, song. we're doing a camp, Chris. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I'm Did you tell anybody about the camp real quick? <laughs> I will as soon as he plays the song. <laughs> God damn you. <laughs> oh, there's a dance. <laughs> You're the last shit dragon. <laughs> Now, this song, uh, I, I was like, hey, make a camp anthem. And he was like, you remember the 90s? <laughs> you, remember, you, remember, you remember taking drugs at raves in the oh, 90s? Dyke is a hater of this song, and I don't I don't get why. This one's a I don't bop. Think he, I don't think he hates the song. <laughs> I, I like think that Chris he, just pushed me the mic like, she's got something to say about this. <laughs> I, I felt like I, just, I kept taking it. Come on, come on. No, I don't think anybody hates the song. I would say that <laughs> I wouldn't have ever expected Expected that. <laughs> <laughs> like, Why? like if I was like, you know, when, when you said that had, had a that had a summer camp song. song? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I didn't that's a terrible see that one coming. Birthday number two. That's gonna be the song. That song? Yeah. That's terrible. Don't sing that for my daughter. Uh oh. Hi and welcome to the twenty twenty three state of the brunch. Yeah, you guys this are doing is, a bunch of stuff. This is year four. Yeah. Can Chris, can you believe it? This is our first fourth year of this. I am our first I'm state of the brunch. I'm just, I'm, just a le- I'm just a legacy champ. I don't even fucking work here anymore. Dyke, Dyke was bringing this up during our meeting. He's like, "This is guys, this is our first third annual thing ever. Fourth. Fourth annual thing ever. First fourth. And, and Zach was like, math. what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I think it's crazy that like we uh, I mean we're like we started this in 2020 it's 2023 yeah but we have four things that we're right we're yeah COVID. no it's yeah. crazy when COVID. you don't stop doing things yeah. they keep going, <laughs> they keep going. <laughs> that is how time works <laughs> next year will be our first fifth yeah can you believe it state of the brunch this is for you brunch nation first of all the state of the brunch is the stronger than it's ever been we're we are so strong <laughs> we, Jesus we are, Christ! We are so beautiful. We are so strong. I'll tell you what. I, I, I like that. I don't like that you call it Brunch Nation, and this sounds like white supremacy. Please talk to me. Oh, right I, for one, am loving where the show is going. Uh, <laughs> make brunch hot again. <laughs> we are stronger than we've ever been. Like you are. That's gonna get clipped. <laughs> make brunch harder again. Jesus! <laughs> God damn it! We're gonna, there's gonna be a wall. There's gonna be a paywall. Yeah. 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 <laughs> This is be huge. I like that in this episode we've gotten a, a reference to your Obama impression, and now we have this happening too. So. Uh, I don't have a, a Trump impression. Oh, you do now. Yeah. 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 You know what's funny is you don't have an Obama impression <laughs> either. What? Um, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> you dirty bastard. It's terrible. It's so terrible. Uh, so what does Michelle yeah. think about it? Yeah. M- Michelle. That kids don't don't do it. I don't want to talk about Michelle. <laughs> It's going like to be you're, better together. Yeah, you sound like you're you're you sound like you're somebody talking on rewind is what you sound like talking about. That's terrible. 
So I I want to do, I want to do a quick recap of um, last year to this year, and I want to say the things that I've been most excited about in the past year. Yeah. One, um, let let let's give kudos to Zach because he's we we were putting out the video, but Zach every oh week gosh. makes video clips that yeah. are amazing. We're literally getting thousands of views on these clips every yeah. week. Fuck yeah. Give that to yourself around. Not very many Zach. likes, but thousands of views. <laughs> yeah, not a lot. Of, not a lot of likes. Thanks, um, Bridget. No, I mean, you I know, never we, want to piss off Zach. We we started this off as like just like an audio thing, and like the when the video component came in, it really just completely turned it into a, a a different beast. And like the fact that I can look, and every week we have thousands of views on like a clip is amazing and also if you're a supporter of the podcast and you don't have any money and you're like i don't how, how do i support these people one of the easiest ways to do it is be a subscriber to heart of brunch on youtube or be a subscriber to our heart of brunch clip show and i feel like so many people like that more because it's just digestible chunks it's just like here's the funny joke I think it's interesting. There's a lot of people that are like, I would never watch a full episode of that, <laughs> but they're like, I'll subscribe to hear their best yeah. jokes. Yeah. Like, like that's amazing to me. Like, like mm-hmm. that, that, that wasn't a thing, you know, the, the first couple of years. And they're like, I love that. And a lot of people are coming out of racism. We're a black podcast. And if you're thinking like, man, how do I start supporting black people? This is a start. <laughs> yeah. It's a start. Put your I, toe I, in the water. I feel like, would you say that, that it's racist to not support you? I feel like it, I oh, I wanna I wanna say that. I, I would think it. Yeah. I would I, I think it. I would think it. Time. Yeah. Family members. Yeah. Is that why you're locked in, Chris? You don't wanna <laughs> Yeah, I don't wanna be racist. racist. I don't wanna be racist. <laughs> don't know how to get out of this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. But I don't even want to support you more. It's like I don't wanna be racist. <laughs> like, I, you another, paid your reparations. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You do it weekly. <laughs> not enough. Yeah, I keep doing it. I can um, get out of it, but yeah, it's racist not to. Another thing another thing that we did this year that I'm super excited about is Harder Brunch Incorporated. We are an LLC. We are a real ass company. Um yeah, you can applause for that or <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to. Oh, that's nice. That was the stu- live studio audience. Yeah. We're we're a real thing. We're a real boy, you know? Yeah. We uh we did that. Um another thing is Meat Cakes 3 was the most successful event to date that we've ever done. Yep. Mm. It was uh our tink- first third meat cakes. <laughs> it was our first third <laughs> meat cakes. It was and, and 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 here's where it really took off because we started this thing which is Zach, Bridget and I in our house. And almost too much food for the people that were there. Way too much, way, way too much. much. And it kind of started from, I think, talking shit. Yeah. That I was like, I make cakes, and you're like, well, I could make a meat cake better than you. And as it turns out, you can't. Yeah, well. I mean, <laughs> three, three, to, be, to be determined. To <laughs> be determined. You've tried proven. three times, and three times. <laughs> yeah. Dead Dead last. Bridget, come I, with that fire. I can't always beat Zach, but I can always beat you. And, and honestly, last. I love the, that. The arc of history is long. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Longer for some. <laughs> Dead last. You've always come... You, oh just to make sure we be talking about that with me King but, King. you've always come in dead last. Am but, I wrong? Uh, but he's like, been consistent. No, no, no. Last year he did come up a little bit higher. We went we went from But it wasn't a meat cake. It we, was a meat pie. It was a pie. Mm, mm, that's right. right. He did so have we a meat went, pie. And we went from see. first year in our house <laughs> <laughs> to second year to third year that um <laughs> and and this year was really exciting because uh I feel like Dad took a lot of ownership of it. He turned it into almost like carnival. Like he showed us the direction where me cakes like here's the thing for for this year uh with me cakes. Um it's gonna it's it's the meat cakes are only part of it, right? It's the party of it. It's the excitement of it. It really is carnival. <laughs> Not, I mean, objectively, not for the people who spend the forty-eight hours before working on their meat cake. It's mostly about the meat cakes. Yeah, yeah, but besides, yeah. But no, I'm a veto that, too. Yeah, I'm not, gonna yeah. say all meat cakes. Not, I mean, for, you, not I, for you guys. I saw a lot of people dancing, but like I was just cutting yeah. meat cakes. So. Yeah. Well, you should have came to the after party. I should have. I, well, I wasn't invited, but if I had been invited, uh, I would have come. Yeah, you weren't invited. Apparently, only people's winners champs. come. People's or people champs, who work on the show. People's yeah. champs go with the people. The rest of the participants yeah. come back to my place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. So now we're at the very exciting point of the uh, state of the brunch, where we really get into the state of the brunch for the next year. Ready. I'm very Ready. excited. This is this is the point where I'm going to talk about everything. Time out. And, yes. Did you mention that we were we went on TV? 
You uh, want TV? Oh fuck! No, you're right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I we, got us on TV. I, 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 I sued him. I sued him mm. on TV because he yeah. had not been uh, really Chris King kicking up his share. Yeah, real and, slick back. You know, really. Wait, that's you that's say our word. Yeah, 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 like, like a pet name. Wow. <laughs> Mm. It was literally just Italian fest. We can't <laughs> walk. That's a bad look, Zach. That's a bad look. <laughs> uh, but no, oh yeah, I also forgot. Yeah, we went on a uh, a reality show yeah. where I, I sued um, yeah. Dad for not really kicking in his fair share, and it. and I won, which yeah. was yeah. was correct. But the the judge did say did give you some real advice. I'm sorry, what was that? Whoa. The judge. Did can, you, can you repeat that in English for us? Chris Glitch. Can you the, hit that Chris glitch button? <laughs> the judge, the judge told Black. you some uh, some real advice that uh, you should probably maybe take to heart. Oh yeah, when a when a beautiful black judge yeah. um, says that everything you're doing is stupid, yeah, you, really, yeah. you really think she about that. that. Yeah. You yeah. say yeah. beautiful black judge. Yeah. She was beautiful. When a BBJ is <laughs> says <laughs> in your heart, BBJ is like, hey, uh, when a you BBJ listen, looks in your soul. She was like, you won today, and a lot of what we we're doing was a joke. But seriously, uh, yeah. need you get your shit yeah. together because uh, it's really stupid what yeah. you're doing. Well, she said I, all that. I've always found that all black women can look directly into my soul. <laughs> oh, they yeah. know every bad thing I've ever done. Yeah. Especially BBJs. <laughs> she's very, she's very BB, much like, BBJs. Like you, won one one another. you won today, but a lot of what you're doing is so stupid. That's what she said. And she was she was beautiful. She's like, I want to give you all the money in the world, but you were the dumbest person I've ever met in my life. You're the dumbest winner I've ever met. Yeah. You're you're a shade of close to losing. And she called me a fat ass, so screw she, her. She did. I am not into BBJs. <laughs> <laughs> They're rude. <laughs> Go ahead. She said that with her eyes. Go you ahead, guys ready for 2023 straight to... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead. 2023. State <laughs> of the brunch. We're ready. All right. So I'm very excited. I'm very excited about all of this. Um, some of these things I haven't even told my my business partners about. But I'm just I don't gonna, think any just, of these things. I, that I, we're I, here I, I'm looking over here. But I, I'm just gonna make oh. I'm just gonna make some decrees. I'm just gonna throw out some decrees. Don't you have to be me keen to do that? And this is this there are good marshals on the screen. <laughs> and this is all right. Matters at all. And this is what we're doing. Uh, so uh, one of the very okay. Let's start off with a big one. One of the very big exciting things this year is we are doing adult summer camp yeah we yeah. are we no. are no. <laughs> no. wrong, wrong. wrong. Yes, is what a fucking <laughs> asshole and now we know zach's opinion <laughs> jesus we are renting out 300 acres in beautiful Nashville, Indiana, yeah. and we are doing a comedy, food, and music festival in August of 2023. Tickets are on sale now via Eventbrite. Uh, it's gonna it's gonna be amazing. If, like it it should hit all the millennial nostalgia buttons. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, all of those camp shows. We're gonna be doing canoeing. We're gonna be doing archery. We're gonna be doing handicrafts. We're gonna be doing all that fun stuff. Uh, adult food fight. Uh, comedy shows, live podcasts, live oh, the music, dark tag dancing, mm -hmm. rave parties in the in the woods. And Capture honestly, the flag. We're also excited for for Dyke to get some new camp stories that then we can hear about on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. There has not been enough camp stories. No one wants that. Is Brent Hune at this thing? Brent Hune is headlining the and whole Gwen? thing. Gwen? Gwen Sunkel is also headlining. It's amazing. Also, like all, Fats. all of your camp counselors are gonna be wow. Stand-up comedians, amazing. There's n there's nothing like this. No one else is doing anything. I feel like, like this. what you're doing is like a live-action Nickelodeon situation. Yeah. So <laughs> what if a lot what if of double dare energy yeah, is going yeah, into this is. thing? Yes. Are absolutely. you going, Bridget? Are you going? Yeah. I can't go because I'm having a baby. <laughs> like tomorrow. <laughs> right now, maybe. But, I'm, I'm, I'm right now. But it's not tomorrow. I, it's not tomorrow. It's, it's at the yeah. end of August. Listen, I'm not bringing Your a baby. Your baby will at least be eight weeks old. By <laughs> not, that time. I'm not bringing to this baby. My baby is the red rat We didn't situation. want you to bring your baby. That's not what we said. That's what we'll, I'll, I'll have a full out baby. They will have heard baby. seven of Thad's songs by then. Like, they will be ready for summer camp. If I could uh, raise my baby with anything, it's the fact that she would never hear Thad's songs. I don't want her to ever hear that. Song. Tickets are on sale now. Go to eventbrite.com. Uh, we have early bird tickets that are discounted, not for too much longer. Yeah. So if you want to get them in now, get them in now. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be so great. No one else is doing anything like this. Oh, no. Sirius Black will be there. We could say oh, that. That's oh, huge. Sirius Black that is going to be on there. I me? love Sirius Black. And I don't He's know performing. what this is. He's amazing. 
honestly, like Clint Breeze too. Like yeah. Clint Breeze. Have, it's it's, it's no, honestly no, like no. so convenient, so close, and no. it's it's like a music festival, but with comedy, with yeah. fun, with activities. Like it's gonna be awesome. Everything you Bridges says is amazing, except yeah. the fact that Clint Breeze is not as good as Serious Black. Serious Black is <laughs> Oh, wow, wow. That's wow. Not, we wow. Have to do, wow. We have to do what? We have to do better or worse. Yeah, we're not doing better or worse. We're not doing better or worse. It's just different. I, wait, I don't wait, give wait, a wait, fuck. Wait, wait, I don't wait, wait, care. Wait, wait. I don't care. Because he thinks you're a racist? Is that what? Serious Black. Besides, besides, none of them beats Tubbles. Everyone be yeah. 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 Serious Black's fucking sure. dope. Just, He's fucking I'll, awesome. Also, we They're buried the lead. Way. Tubbles is gonna be here. I can't believe we got them. That's what really, is Tubbles? You've never heard of Tubbles? It, it, it's, never heard of You're joking right no, now. I don't what know what that means. Where have you You're been? Joking. Seriously. You know, Tubbles. Living under a rock. I'm the asshole. Yeah, yeah. Tubbles. You are he the asshole. Yeah. You know who Tubbles is. I'll tell you what. I don't even know who Tubbles is, but I guarantee you Serious Black is better. Serious Black is great. He does your fucking uh, shit right. song. But listen, song. I, so great. I, I, get, I mean, I'm not going to compare both of them because I love them both. Yeah. But uh, I will say Clint is not no. someone to mess around with. No, very I, good. He got to show me the new stuff that he's very working good. on. Very good. That's how good. No, I'm going to say this. One yeah. of the best in Indianapolis. Yeah. Better than Serious Black. Kind of messed up the you know, say better. Just, No, and I would just say different. Like, you guys have like a, a spectrum of different Thank different you. musicians that are going to be coming that are gonna be coming onto the show right You're now. Your instincts are correct. And I think it's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. Like, yeah. you get kind of, yeah, it's it's going to be, I'm so excited. I feel like we don't rank our guests enough. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, like, I would. Really, I would. Really plus I, would. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't realize like, that was the thing we were doing. I, I never would have thought. Also, anyway, we got a bunch of other stuff we got to get to. All right. Go ahead. So next thing is we are going to be doing a patreon subscribers party for all of our patreon subscribers we want you to come and hang out and eat brunch with us yeah in the house and get the real harder brunch experience chris king you're a patreon subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how to unsubscribe you're that's why i am Oh, oh you're more than welcome to come. You will be invited. You just pour the whole bottle. What happened? That, that, that was. <laughs> we <laughs> all watched that. You just had like cider in it. That was good. Yeah, that was, all, that was for all of us. I was like, I was looking at you like I'm gonna get a little bit. I'm not gonna we're be rude. Sure. <laughs> me and Bridget bought that. Me and Bridget bought that. <laughs> yeah, sorry. sorry. With my, I mean, with my card. To, to be fair, with my card. I forgot Bridget's there, store boyfriend bought yeah, that. Yeah, to be fair, for everyone. Bridget had to like be like sort of yeah. sexually assaulted. <laughs> what I will say is, after that happened, Thad said, "If God, if I was a woman, I would have showed him anything to get that bottle." I did say that, and I stand by. <laughs> I do stand by that. Do you think? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Go ahead and finish that question. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to. I'm just saying, I don't want to. I'd be a bad woman if I was one. <laughs> I right. do, I do. I, mean, go, go, I do want to talk it. about yeah. small penis versus being short, but this is not the time, apparently. All right. So, <laughs> no, it's not. You just filled that glass full of fucking scotch. Yeah. We, I mean, that's a, that's a great time for you. You're going to have a great time. All right. So, we got I'm a lot of other you. things to get here. Yeah. No, so, no summer camp, Patreon subscribers party. That's better. Uh,. Wait can, you, wait, can you repeat that? Our I'm guests are getting scotch rude. Yeah, we're getting scotch rude. Um, we're going to drink it all. We're going to redesign the whole studio this year. We're gonna, it's Why? Gonna, it's going to be super what? cool. It's going to be beautiful. It's beautiful right now. Uh, it's going to be more beautiful. It might even have a hot tub in it. <laughs> yeah. Look, that's look. That's look. That's Chris King, you you remember you remember how we started with a phone in the middle of the table? Yeah, it's down like a microwave. And, and then we went into the, the world's smallest room. And yeah. then we went into a room in a, in a, in a mansion. And then here. Yeah. So it, it keeps evolving. Uh-huh. It's just going to keep getting better and better. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I mean, it's great, but like it could be better, right? What would you do? Well, Let's hear it. Oh, is this me? Do I have to? What do I have to do? <laughs> what would do you something? do, Chris? What would you do, Chris? You're, I, I want to hear your interior instincts. I feel like I'm asking, like, what? What am I doing? Chris, I feel like I'm Chris, doing something. what would you pay for in this <laughs> studio to make it better? I feel, like <laughs> I feel like we're all saying the same thing. I feel like we're all saying that was the, same the thing. best bird. Chris, King, what's the budget? <laughs> <laughs> But that's my question. I feel like we talked about that earlier, and I'm like, oh, Our angel investor. I'm gonna fucking trap. I just got trapped in the situation. Yeah, don't be racist. We, out. Oh, I'm racist. <laughs> like, if you don't pay for racist. Better. No, but I think like uh, we talked about that, right? Uh, you and I talked about that. We uh, the mixer. We should replace the mixer. Yeah. 
And the camera, probably the camera. I have, right? I have thoughts. I have lots of thoughts. You have thoughts. Yeah. I would like to know your thoughts. But no mic. Yeah. Ooh, so, I, I exactly. honestly, I yeah. like the situation where I'm like, I would like to, uh, th- th- this is the thing. I would like to get, like, if you just say, like, hey, this is our upgrade for next year, like, just tell me what that is, and then mm-hmm. then maybe. I don't, I have a stupid job for a reason. This is yeah. why I have a dumb hey, fucking job to pay for Can shit we get like your this. face in here? Just like, like, <laughs> would you like that? Listen, I, 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 will, I will consider all that stuff if I never have to do a. I'm, I'm never asked to do a half fucking episode <laughs> ever again. Like, hey, oh, man, we're can always you, asking for a half yeah. episode. Can you, can you come was, in? Can you I, come in for you know ten what? fucking minutes? I'll kill you. On behalf of Thad and I, I apologize. That was Zach's idea. That was a terrible <laughs> idea. I just no. great idea. <laughs> and I will say honestly, when you guys said it, you're <laughs> like, you'll be on half an hour, and I was like, that seems like more than enough. And then you're like, no, we're the whole episode for everyone. And I was like, I've really only got half an hour of of content. And me so I, I, I my change off is I want I want to be in a full episode with Bridget every single time no. yeah but every but time we can't, but we can't, that we on can't your because we just keep passing the mic back yeah. and forth <laughs> you guys are doing a better job sharing the mic yeah the other, the, other, the, Bridget, the other thing the last thing that I'm very excited wait wait hold on a second we were still talking about that thing what, what is the upgrades upgrade? you were talking about <laughs> uh, just, we'll figure it out later <laughs> are you doing <laughs> about no, the, uh, no, the accommodations no, 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 no. next door no no this is what we're talking about what are the upgrades you're talking about what do you think uh, so we want to use we want to use some of the we want to we want to upgrade the uh, computer system um, and all of the cameras. So we want all the cameras to be better. We want the the look of the show to be better and crisper in twenty twenty four. Honestly, and and I know this is probably maybe further down the down the line, but I think a lot of people would really love to see. And I know that you guys do a great job of taking video clips of the actual brunch, but I really think that would be so fun to like have a camera in there just to get clips of it while because like, that's some of the most fun is like everybody chatting everybody hanging out that, like upstairs uh, yeah, 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 like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That playing with music seeing you guys cook a little bit too yeah. like that's really fun and that's that's a fun part to be a part of that most people don't see <sighs> people Absolutely. have said that that's actually true why why don't you you're, you're gonna use cameras up there yeah. here's the thing people have said that and it's, and it's i don't a have any idea. money to contribute to that <laughs> but i'm just spitballing <laughs> I think it's just. I, I, think I think it's I'm, a great idea. I think it's uh, easier said than done, obviously. But that's it, all of Harder Brunch. Everything that we do is easier said than done, and then we do it, which is awesome. Cameras, by, by I, you leadership. do cameras on the conversations and the kitchen. There is something about uh, intimacy like that. Like you know what? Like sex was really good, but I wouldn't want it recorded. What the fuck mm. is he talking yep. about right yep. now? Why is he doing? You, that? you understand oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's there's something about having especially intimacy. if they don't know it's recorded. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's yeah. intimacy on the table. You're you're uh, enjoying yourself. Surprise! And yeah. then when there's a camera in your face, it takes that away. See, you yeah. don't put it in the face when you're having sex. Yeah. About what you say. Catch it so you can see the balls. <laughs> I, guess, uh, I, I, I like I everything, like I like everything you're saying, but I, I would like a proposal, and then just like a regular proposal. Like, what are you what are you guys thinking? Well, maybe there's like an, an intern ROI there. would be like an ROI would be nice, like a return of uh, the. Return. That would be and nice. The, and the last thing <laughs> for tw- <laughs> for the year that I'm very excited about. <laughs> For me, King, and this is this is very exciting. This may be a surprise to some people, but for next year for meat cakes, we're very excited because meat cakes, meat cakes almost it doubles every year. So yeah. like we started in a house, That's great, and then and then we were at Almost Famous and we doubled, yeah, and then we were at Tinker and then we doubled. And this year, I don't, I can't say where we're going to be yet, but it's going to be amazing, and yeah. we're going to double. And this year, meat cakes, the twist is. We're doing team. So it's going to be yeah. Team Harder Brunch with Zach Rohn, Dyke Michaels, Bridget Haran Purcell. No! Yes, no. It's going to be amazing. No, no. <laughs> And we're out of time. So, <laughs> so <laughs> thank you guys so much for being on the show. Thank you. Chris King, Bridget, I appreciate it. Zach Rohn, um, Daddy Shay McKee, where can they find you? Yo, I, I didn't get to do my Santa brunch. Uh, we're, I'm getting this back on TV somehow, some way, <laughs> even if it's kind of illegal. Um, <laughs> Hey, I said it. Uh, no, you guys can find me at Thad McKee on Instagram and Twitter. Zach Rome? Uh If you want to follow us at Carter Brunch, I mean, if you're, uh, you know, just listening to us or if you're one of the co-hosts, yeah. you know, definitely follow us on the internet. <laughs> Chris King? I have nothing. I have nothing to promote. All right. Except for this show that apparently things are happening. You're going to have a baby. Happening. I'm going to have a baby. I don't want to promote the baby. No, but that's oh, not you, right. you don't want to promote the baby. Promote Bridget and Rand. What are you doing right now? 
so I work at Pots and Pans Pie Company. Uh, they do excellent uh, take and bake pot pies as well as sweet pies. Um, so you can always come find me there. You can also follow Bakes by Bridge on Instagram uh, for any of your specialty cake needs. And next year for Harder Brunch, you can find an all women's uh, team that we're going to be doing for an all all women's meat cake competition. I promote everything all. she's saying. <laughs> And I cannot believe we're doing. We we're just gonna bypass it, doing all women, doing meat cakes. Is that we're doing. Is that what we're gonna do. I promote the women team. I will finance the women team. I promote it, and I say we do our own meat cake, but we no. hire. No, okay, well, I am the biggest <laughs> Bridget Haran fan, <laughs> even though she's a bit of a scattered brain. But I love her. I love her so much. We're all over the place. Yeah, I support that team. That's Ad, what I'm promoting. Add Dragon Michaels lady team. on all social media. Thank you guys so much. Hey, we got an amazing Patreon. If you want to hear us uh, continue doing what we do, being silly, patreon.com backslash Harder Brunch. Also, Adult Summer Camp. Tickets are on sale right now. If They're you going. If you want to go camping with Daddy Shane McKee, and who doesn't? And honestly, go to Bluebeard and Anthony's Chop House. That food was insane. It was so, yeah, so, so good. fucking yeah. good. Like, yeah. they're so talented. It's it's insane. Yeah. They're dropping real truffles on stuff. I mean, real for truffles. us. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm is a crazy. piece of shit. Guys, and I got some truffles. Yeah, that's like a real how we know Harder today. Brunch has made it, because truffles. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye-bye. I don't know.